Hey guys, it's me, Jenny B, and welcome Alex, back. Are you to Oxen All right, Free. are you back with me now? Man, you've been acting like a I don't even know how to put it, like a bird just flitting around in circles for ten minutes. Oh my god. I was about to like slap you or scream or something. Last time no, we no, left I, off, we I saw Michael. Saw, I think I just saw my brother Mike. And we had a crazy conversation what? with everybody how? and everything. Wait, here? Everyone. Is he was it like a I don't I don't know what to call it. A vision? It was crazy. I was uh, it was like those time jumps we're sometimes totally having, right? Though. This was it's like we've been having ripples, and this was a wave. I was bumped all the way back to when Michael was still alive. Right now? And Clarissa was nice. Oh, is that it? That's all we have to say about that. Okay. We have to make it to Maggie. Maggie's house? I forget how I brought that up. There we go. Oh, we're all together. Okay. Um... Oh. We, oh, that's right. Okay, the numbers. Other. So we have to bring up the radio. 104. First, we will eat and drink. And then we'll Why does it say 103 when I'm clearly like 104 area? Okay, what was it again? 141. Turn on the Lima India Golf L I G H Tango T for the ships coming home. The lighthouse. Turn on the Lima. The lighthouse. Is that is that what she's saying to me right now? How do I do that? Um. I didn't know Maggie grew up in Maine. There is there's a similar statue of a soldier in Maine where I grew up. My memory of it is when, is I think, part of the reason why I said yes when the army recruited me out of college, despite my family's protestations. Pro protestations? I, I don't know if I'm even saying that right. I think I'm having a brain fart. Anna, my closest friend from childhood, was of course thrilled at the possibility of my escape. I anonymously started the petition in 1975 to have this one made after the daughter of the canoe crewman Frances Salter asked. I don't know why. The marker, maybe? For the hope I once had to help people. Whoa. That got crazy fast. Deep. Crazy deep fast. Um, she wants me to turn on the light. But... There's nothing I can do. I kind of have to, like, go the other way. I, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to turn on the lighthouse, I, if that's what she's even saying. Does it change? Oh, she's not saying. Okay, maybe I should just keep it on. Hey, why well, aren't you at not. the tower? This one got a little antsy. Weird stuff was playing on the radio. That voice said I had a mother's laugh. What does that even mean? Anyways, <laughs> are we happy? We are happy. We got a new radio that's supposed to open doors and gates in some magical way. Mm, yeah. Oh, thank God. I was getting nervous that you would have walked all that way and then not found anything. Seeing as how it was my advice to uh, do the whole thing. But it worked out so great. Some <sighs> weird stuff happened along the way, but I mean... I guess whatever, that's the new normal now. Weird stuff. And we can't find Clarissa, so... She pretty much got transmogrified to someplace else. It's sad that any of those words make any sense to me, but... Look, we got the way in, let's just do what we meant to do and check to see if the boat works. But not leave yet, right? Listen, if we have the key, which is apparently this radio, then let's just go to the house and see. And if it looks like we can leave that way, then we'll go on a Clarissa hunt. <sighs> All right. I think you're supposed to use the radio to tune into the gate, right, Alex? Yeah. Something like so that. So are you going to try the gate thing? Or... Shut up. Let me walk there. If we're still going to go to the house, let's just do it. Try... I guess the radio will open this somehow? Hopefully. Give it a whirl. Okay. No...
No. Okay. Is it just me? Is there like a green tinge like... Now? I don't know what do you want to... Okay. Cool. <laughs> I don't know what, wow. what to do with this new radio. <sighs> please have a boat. Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Just think happy thoughts. Yeah, happy thoughts. Happy thoughts, Jonas. Just think happy thoughts. Yeah, this new radio's got way too many numbers. You have to go forever for all of them. Any of them. Okay, game. Take your time. No rush. Jesus, that house is huge. That lady really knew how to live. It's like the Chateau de Adler. Ah, <sighs> she does have a boat. Yeah, there is a see, boat. Allie knew what she was talking about. She should, anyway. I mean, she had to schlep back and forth here all summer. And go faster than all you guys. All right, can I go to the door real quick? Is everybody just gonna follow me? Oh no, Ren's just already gonna go that way. Okay. Yeah, let's just go in. There's something in here. Just looks like vacation slides or something. Hey, Jonas. You came in with me. Huh. Ren, you were right. There's like a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. And here's a combination for a padlock to a chest, is all it says. Did I pass the chest? 18. 54. A chest? 29, 18, 54. Should I even write that down? I'm gonna write that down. Huh. 29, well, I guess let's just keep looking. 18, 54. Done and done. She made a lot of... What should I call these? Slides? They're, they're not videos. Um, silent memories? Silent memories. They're slides. That's what they called them then. We showed pictures on the projector. Uh, then you had to like force everyone to look at your pictures. It wasn't like Facebook where you could just pass them. Oh. No, you oh, had to do it's that. Like a, it's like a boat that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not... It wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio? No. We looked through all of her stuff, I think. Huh. Well, uh... What's plan B if we can't keys? They... They have to be in the house for the movers or her family, you know? That's as good a guess as any. Are we breaking and entering? It's a radio lock. I mean, I guess I already did. I went in the basement. Security. I thought maybe I imagined it was locked, but no. Well, you do have the key right there. It's the radio. Just tune it a little. It'll oh. open like the gate. What will it? Here? Is that it? Oh, now time to go a million miles the other way. Okay. Oh. That. Oh, it fills is an up. Gizmo. Okay. Says one, two, three, and then it. That's how you know. That's how you know it, you're doing it right. Finally. Carissa, oh, God, Jesus. You scared me. Oh my Thought God. You were like Maggie Adler's dead body or something. How do you get in here? The door was locked. Do you have like a radio? I'm no, not going close to you. I don't have you. a radio. The kitchen window was open. Kitchen window? Where? In the back? In the kitchen? I don't believe you. These windows don't even they don't work like that. How would you know you've never been here? Look, Clarice is here. So everyone's here now. We can just everyone's okay, all right? That's mm. a good thing. Yeah, let's just find the keys to the boat or a phone or whatever and just find a way home. I There's promise. We can all keep talking and or fighting at school on Monday. Yes. I'm not gonna Perfect. Talk. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. Oh, she's got a map like I do. Wait, have you seen this? It's like a, a star map or a diagram of planets or something. Yeah, why would she need anything like a map of the universe? I mean, it's not like she's bouncing stuff off satellites for a job. Or maybe they were back then. What do I know? Maybe they needed to chart 
uh, signals through space or something? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Pull that oh, string. That's an attic? Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Wanna come up? Yeah, sure. Okay, where did everybody go? Did they just leave the house? Did they find the key? Ooh, you know what? This might be the, um, Ooh, the chest that takes that combination. 29, 18, I didn't even have to write it down. 50, she remembered four. it all on it's her own. own. Radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map oh, of the there. caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. What do you think that means? She couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? Tune into the source. It, it's probably something about the special radios, you know? Huh. Is this... Ah, the boat keys. Got them. Let's blow this pop stand. Oh, I just got that popsicle stand. It does make sense. I don't get it. I still don't All get right. it. We got keys for the Let's boat. Blow this pop stand? Where? I don't get it. Jonas found them in a chest upstairs. So, say thank you. Thank you. Wait, You're I'm welcome. Still... I was just saying it. It's not directed at you or here? anything. Okay. No, go but go down the stairs, guys. I'll catch up. Jeez. I'm just checking out the rest of the house. Nothing. Okay. What about my reflection? Okay. No. Alex. Oh, Alex. Come down here, please. Leave me alone. I want to show you. I'm not. I'm not listening to this, all right? I'm not playing along anymore. Oh, just come down, and we'll drink to our future. <laughs> come down, okay? It'll be all right, I promise. I don't like you. <laughs> Can I just, like, not? Can I just not go down? Can I just, like, stay here? Here comes a candle to light you to bed. Here comes the sword to chop off your head. Oh my goodness! Yeah, I totally want to come down now. That makes me want to come down well, so much. We'll be waiting right here for you to strike up the nerves. Okay. I guess I have to go downstairs. Alright, check out Ren first. No, Ren first. Ren! Are you alright? Ren, are you, are you alright? We're in a, we're in a time loop thing. Ren. Nona. Nona, come on, honey. It's time to motor. Time to motor. Motor on out of here. On a boat that has a motor. Jonas. Come on, Jonas. I, I really need you. Don't blink out on me now. Ah, uh, don't leave me with Clarissa. Where do I go? To the kitchen? There you are. Now we imagine you're a bit confused. But don't fret. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Thank you, Radio. You signed up for this, Alexandra. All right, I missed that. Is possible. So please, I cannot bear your excuses, offspring. How was I meant to know what the hell was going to happen? And yet, without, without understanding, understanding your footing, you still acted. But don't worry. The test is easy. We will speak of something we see in the house, and you will go and find it. See? As simple and good humored as your mother's eyes. What is it with you guys and all the, the games? You're like dogs or children. Just what is the point? The point, dear. The point is that they were never games. And you can figure that out by your lonesome. Now, let's start with the softball. I spy, with my little eye, a softball? radiation. There is, of course, a time limit here. So, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Once they call the fish alive. Four. Is it? Are you talking I don't about know. the TV? I don't think I have there time to go, go up well there. Done. The older models emitted X-rays. But right now, you'd be wise to think of radiation in another sense. Pay attention. What does this have to do with, with us? I mean, we're. we're I not. spy. With my little eye, a notch. Let's make this a little harder, okay? Eight, seven, 
six. Five. Uh, Alexandra, what a disappointment you've turned out to be. I'm not? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't, just, just stop, please. Don't do anything to him. Oh, your new brother. Gone to first light. Where is he? Where'd you take him? Don't you mind. But let this be a teachable moment for you. It's time for the bonus round, Alex, so stay quick. This is what you really want to find. I spy with my little eye. A the picture, picture I was at? Be fast now. The, the picture of, of... I guess it's Maggie, Adler, and somebody. Is this it? Yes, very nice. That's Margaret Adler and her friend Emma. See, you and your schoolyard chums are experiencing... Well, this has sort of happened before. Maggie and Emma tried to sport with us many years ago, and, well, only one survived. But in the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. It just takes a little time. And a far-reaching tolerance for the ignorance. You said Wait, you what? weren't gonna hurt what us. What happened to Anna? Let's leave it at the poor girl didn't know what she was playing with. It doesn't matter. They're not an eternal recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. And we will use the waves to absorb into your friends so as sunlight blooms into flowers. And we will grow. And we will engulf. You can't do that. That does not Think sound about what you're doing. Good. We can do that, Alex. And what it seems to your parents as 80 years has been for us eons to know an existence without life. We tried it too quickly with Anna, but now we know to wait and soak. We had to keep you here on the island. It will be a great honor, Alex, really, to carry us through this no. life. No, let me leave. And on to the next. There has to be another way. I mean, just maybe, I mean, maybe I can do something with the radio. We never had our time. It was ripped from us. We watched the universe's conception fly to its demise over and over and over again. You don't know what it's been like, but how could you? That is no excuse for stealing our, our souls. Well, it's the only excuse you're going to get. Okay. Our own we have until dawn. And oh, so Jesus you. Christ. We would spend our time wisely. And we thank you for your good service. Well, that could have gone better. Do I get another chance? Is she gonna do I Is she gonna come back? Or is she like legit about all that stuff? Oh god. That's legitimately frightening. Tell Michael he should go out on his own. Okay, seriously, who are you? Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. I didn't I just saw the one. Now there's one I, now there's a whole bunch of them. Okay. Okay. All right, the third one. Okay. So we can go on. <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna be sick. Me first. Uh, it wasn't a dream or a vision or something. You and Clarissa standing in the living room just now, was it? Ugh. No, that was very, very real. Oh, and by the way, next time, put some actual effort into the game, pretty please. It felt like someone was shoving spiders down my throat. She, uh, tried, kinda. So, I mean, yeah, Christ, I'm if not Clarissa talking was to you right now, Jonas. Away to the cave I had my own problems. Monsters, then, I mean, the plan has to be to retrieve her, right? I'm still going to call them ghosts, if that's okay. A ghost is a monster, so... Or we could just leave? Yeah, just bounce. What? Seriously? We can't just leave? Yeah, I mean, I know oh, she... Oh, come on. The boat's right there. Remember the old plan? Take the skiff to freedom and french fries? Nobody ever said Alex, that. Alex, no. 
We can't leave. Not without all of us. Well, if we're going to the cave... Oh, actually, I forgot. I saw the entrance has been caved in since you guys went inside. All right, I know there are a whole bunch of secret communist bomb-fearing tunnels dug into this place during the 1950s. And Maggie has loads of film about military stuff in her basement, so... Maybe there's a way back into the cave through one of those, you're thinking? <sighs> Let's take a look. Let's go look. What kind of name is a Fippany Fields anyway? Wait, is it a Fippany? It's, uh... It's a Piffany Field. Oh, that makes more sense. Epiphany. Like when you suddenly get a great idea. I think, right? Like, Eureka! That's what you would say if you had an epiphany. Alright, let's go watch these stupid films so we can figure out. Be careful, that film's really flammable. Wouldn't want Smoke and Johnny to light the house on fire. Ha, can we play? Ha. Can we play them? Oh. Alright, there's already something in here. Experiments and findings of experienced phenomena, January 52. Awesome. Oh man, if this turns out oh. to be just prehistoric uh -huh. home videos. I don't want to be in front of it. Yeah. I'm sure this is just the God, it's just the first thing. Just give it a second to warm up, will you? You can, uh... Okay, we're getting warmer, I think. Yeah. So, if you look at the, like, lines or whatever, the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave. Just like from another angle. According to this, at least. Oh, so it does. But won't it be, like, locked or something, right? Yeah, how do we get in? It's just like the cave wall, only steel or whatever bomb shelters are made out of. Oh, what? She knew about these things? Wow, Clearly. that's crazy. The it radios says that and stuff? To fix a temporal tear, that's a mouthful, in the cave, we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself. Okay, but we're not doing that, right? Good question. Uh, yeah, that's, that's going a little above. Above we and beyond. We might have to. Well, oh, I don't know what to tell you, but strap in, boys and girls, because we might have to, okay? If it's the only thing that will fix us. Yeah, but that's like scary. Well, something better work. Or we're boned. Or we're boned. Precisely. Precisely. <laughs> oh, sorry. This is like, this looks like the end, but from the, from the wrong film thing. No, no, no. Wait. This is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing, because it, like, sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. See? It says, when someone sends an emergency signal from the Capward station in the woods, and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response thing. Brilliant! Really? It's good enough for me. So Alex and me will head through the woods, yeah. do the, um, call part. You and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. Okay, I guess we're going with Jonas. Use the response station to open the bomb shelter. So, I think we were, like, in that vicinity? Correct? Anyway? Alright, let's All right. Jonas, let's go. Break. And if anything goes wrong, please, don't tell me. I won't want to know. Okay, Ren. Well, now I'm gonna run over there and specifically tell you at the first drop of bad news. No! Yes. Like, right when I hear it. Right when it happens. Okay, so we have to go to the station. Effing Clarissa. Freaking, she drives me mad when she's normal her, and she drives me mad when she's possessed. Like, I can't stand her. I can't. I should just jump in the boat and leave. And leave everybody. I really should. Okay, do I go up? Do I go up? Well, I definitely don't go down. Ooh, come on, Jonas, let's go. I mean, why are we splitting up at the house? Why did we break there? We're all, like, literally going the same way. Come on. Come on, Alex. Thank you. So we have to go to the station, and it's actually kind of like, like, like Bluetooth. We are going to open something at the call station, and Ren and Nona are going to receive it and open the door for us. And then hopefully we'll be able to get in the bomb shelter. And then the bomb shelter leads us to the cave where we're going to do the, the temporal rip. 
I think that's what we're gonna do. I think we're all caught up there. All right, so we gotta head up. Oh. Oh, this isn't good. I'm Ren. What am I supposed to do? Alex. Alex, okay. Are you... are you back to normal? I just saw... it, it, it was like a premonition, I think? And, and I know that sounds whatever, but this must be what it's like when people say they do that, because I kind of just saw Ren drowning. Okay, okay, just take it easy for a second. You went all red-eyed, like when we get possessed. I did? You stopped walking and started mumbling, and then your eyes lit up like little road flares. Oh no, it it's only starting lasted to like happen. A minute, but we should hurry up and do this before the door on you opens any wider to them. Yeah, uh, let's get this over with. Oh my goodness. They're starting to possess me now. Is that the bomb shelter? Okay, I have to go um, left, but like right there. Is that the shelter we need to go to? Are they already in there? <laughs> no, waiting? look, it kind of made sense. Hey, guys. Uh, wait, did I get the plan wrong? Because if I got it right... No, you didn't get it wrong. I saw... I saw Ren drowning in a... The only way to describe it is it was like a vision or something. What? Seriously? Alex got possessed for a minute there. And yes, it was scary, but it was just a hallucination triggered by ghosts rummaging around through her brain. No big deal. I mean, they're clearly fine. Well, wait. Look, Jonas, it was real, all right? As real as the other loops or any of the other hundred crazy things that have happened tonight. Don't say that. What am I supposed to do with this? Mm -hmm. It's not like I can really avoid drowning yeah. any more than I can normally do on a daily basis. You're on land, Ren. I don't think anything's exactly. gonna happen. But then, why would she... Why just would she... be careful, all right? I don't know why I saw what I saw, but just keep on your toes, okay? Well, Wait. I am now. I don't yeah, think okay, I've been well, to this pile of rocks. It's been fun catching up, kids. We'll go do our half of the fix the ghost problem equation now. <sighs> all right, well, uh, see you after. I just hope so. Don't say oh, that. we did. We did. Sorry, Ren, I just had to tell you. If someone saw a vision of me drowning, I'd want them to tell me, so... I just, I kind of had to tell you, Ren. I'm sorry. You just had to know. No, we're not going to the fort. I like how it looks, though, in the distance. It's really cool. Not going to the tower. We gotta go through two hui. Two hui woods. Two hui. Here we go. And this call station, I think, is one of the areas that I kind of didn't explore. You know what time it is? It's four in the morning, which is usually about the time everyone decides if they're going to bed All right. or ordering another three pizzas. Yeah. I am going to end that here uh, for the moment. For the moment, for the episode, I'm ending the episode there. Only because they gave me the time and that means it saves. And I know it's going to be a lot that they're go we're going to do. So I don't want to like keep going. Even though I like do want to keep going. Because we didn't really do that much in this episode. But we need to go to the call station. Open up the bomb shelter. And do a temporal tear. Something. Something like that. And that's going to be fun. That's going to be exciting. That sounds like a lot, though. So I'm going to end that here. Thank you guys so much for checking this episode out of Oxenfree. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I will catch you guys later.